Hi, Shelly Pinder with Campus News. I'm speaking today with Riz Ilias. He's a local horse enthusiast who has just released a DVD set titled Piaf Revealed. Hi, Riz. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks, thanks for having me. Thank you. Well, welcome. And uh, why don't you start out by telling us a little bit about yourself? I'm just your typical backyard horse owner. Uh, been crazy about, about horses since I was a little kid. All I ever wanted to do was go outside and, uh, and play with my horses or play with somebody's horses, you know. And now I've grown up and I've uh, got a few horses at of my own. Now, Riz, there are two DVDs available in this set. Can you tell us the difference between the two? There's two DVDs. They, they go together. It comes as a set. But the two DVDs, they complement each other, but they both have different style of information. One of them is called The Classroom, and the other one's called The Arena Work. And in The Arena Work, you're going to see us go from the very first step all the way to a finished piaf. You're going to see a horse, you know, that knows nothing. You're going to see horses of different breeds, different ages. We've got a stallion, We've got a mare, we've got a gelding, we've got a little miniature pony, we've got a donkey. I mean, you know, you kind of show you that any horse can do this. One of the horses being trained started right there on the video. And you get to see him take his very first steps. But we show you the important part of the groundwork, um, how much, uh, how calm the horse needs to be before you get started, how to get your horse calm before you get started, how to um, read different personality types or different temperament types and adapt the method to that horse, to that specific horse. And then we go further with that and show you how to get go from the in-hand work to the long line work, uh, refining it in the pillars and starting the Piaf under saddle. The Classroom DVD is really what sets us apart from all the other programs you're gonna find. Um, this is the part of the DVD or the program that we actually lecture and we talk about the psychology of the horse, the training philosophy, um, how your horse is gonna interpret reward, how you're gonna uh, ask with what equipment you're going to ask with we go over every piece of equipment we, we we probably have more information in this dvd on guiders and whips than have ever been presented before um you know and these are these, these are important things to know these are the tools this is what you're going to be working with so you really need to know your tools and understand your tools and then we talk about also some of the general points that you can touch your horse to get specific responses um and you know where to touch them how to touch them uh, and we talk about the stuff that you don't, you don't, you rarely find on the other training DVDs. So this is something that the novice could could purchase and start from scratch. On. Absolutely, absolutely. This was designed. Um, we we really uh, went out of our way to try to make this and uh, without the terms, the technical terms, without any of the jargon that would confuse somebody. Um, and we really made it for somebody who just bought their first horse that they could actually go outside and train Piaf in hand, Piaf in the long lines do the work in the pillars, uh, start it under saddle, everything from the very beginning all the way to a finished Piaf. Now, would it be beneficial for anyone to view both DVDs or would you ever recommend that somebody only focuses on one? No, I mean, you know, I think you have to watch both DVDs. Obviously, the arena works a lot more fun to watch because I'm working with horses and you get to see me working with the horses and that's really what everybody, everybody enjoys. But it's what you find in the classroom DVD is the part that makes everything work. You know, there's some people that you see and they think, wow, you know, that guy's a great trainer. And, and great trainers are just great communicators. And they understand their, who they're working with. They understand their horse. So, you know, they understand their equipment. They, they're very confident in what they ask. We see people all the time, um, you know, they just get near a horse and the horse instantly becomes calm. Their horses of a confident trainers are always going to be better in, in high stress situations. They're just better to be around in general. So, you know, the question has always been, is it because he's confident that the horse is so calm or is the horse calm because he's so confident? Mm -hmm. And so I think that when you arm yourself with the knowledge and you have confidence that you're doing the right thing, everything else takes care of itself. Now, Riz, I noticed there's a place on your website dedicated to those who should not buy the DVD. Now, as a business person, this seems like a really strange direction to go. Can you explain to me a little more why you chose to, uh, to do that? I don't want to mislead anybody. I mean, I've shown this method to all kinds of people. I've got international Grand Prix riders and trainers who have seen the method, and there's, they've all found something in it that they liked, and they incorporated it into their own program. But an you know, advanced trainer might find it a little too simplistic in the way things are explained. We go over every little step. So, you know, a more advanced trainer is going to be a little bit bored watching this DVD the way it's designed. You know, it's really designed for the average horse owner, a backyard amateur trainer, to be able to watch this go outside and train their horse to Piaf in eight to ten weeks. Great, awesome. So it's more for 
the the novice as opposed to someone who's been doing this for years. Exactly, exactly. You know, most of the tapes that we've seen, or I I saw the market for years, what they were really designed for people who already knew how to train horses. Mm -hmm. So you'd watch the tapes, and then you really, you know, it was fun to watch. It was beautiful. But you'd walk away and you really didn't feel like you learned enough to go outside and train your horse. So when we designed this DVD set, we really kind of stepped outside of the mold and decided to do it like it was a one-on-one -on -one lesson, very informal. We left out a lot of the dressage jargon and technical terms. Um, it's just very, very, you know, it's very layman, explained uh, in very layman terms. And you could, it's easy to watch. It's easy to follow. It's easy to understand. Uh, and I think that people will find a lot of success with it. So if I decided to go out and buy a horse today, I could buy your DVD and I'd know exactly what I was doing. I, I would hope so. Yeah. <laughs> and we designed it that way that, you know, we, th we thought about it. We were like, you know, if somebody was brand new to horses, bought their very first horse, knew nothing, they could get this DVD and they could go outside uh, and learn how to train their horses with it. Now, as someone who knows little to nothing about horses, I have actually never heard of Piaf. So can, what can you tell us about Piaf and the benefits of teaching a horse to do this particular maneuver. It's an exercise that has a lot of great benefits physically for the horse. It teaches them to carry themselves a little bit better because they shift their weight back. Um, it makes them more supple. It increases the strength. It increases the balance. Uh, and, you know, the, the physical benefits are something that, that, that are great, but I think more important than that are the psychological benefits for this, for both the horse and for the rider. Um, you know, a lot of times when we have our horses, we're either feeding them or we're riding them. And working a horse on the ground and doing the in-hand work and teaching the Piaf in hand offered me an opportunity to open doors to the horse's mind that weren't open before or just through riding. So it allows me to be able to work with my horse. It'll allow you to be able to work with your horse on the ground. It's going to enhance the dialogue, increase the dialogue. It's going to make increased communication. Um, you're going to start to trust your horse a lot more. He's going to start to trust you a lot more because of the increased communication. So, you know, and everything that you do is going to transfer with you to the saddle. Uh, a lot of people, you know, think, wow, this is a, a movement that they do only at, uh, at Grand Prix. And it's true, at Grand Prix you do demonstrate Piaf, but it's not just an end in itself. It's a means to an end. It's a tool. So it's about building the relationship between the owner and the horse. It's exactly about building the relationship. All training should be about increasing the communication, increasing the dialogue, and because of that, you have a better relationship with your horse. You know, he's going to, like I said, the trust, you're going to feel a lot more confident in what you're asking him to do. You're going to understand how he reacts. I mean, every horse has a, it, you know, they have their own individual personalities. And a lot of times by, when we train them, we can kind of see, okay, hey, this, he's going to react this way in this situation or react a different way in another situation. Um, I want to, you know, be real clear here that just because your horse can piaf, doesn't mean that he's automatically a Grand Prix horse. Or if you can train Piaf, doesn't make you a Grand Prix trainer. But what it will do is help you on your journey. It's gonna make everything else you do with your horse better. It's gonna make his canter better. It's gonna make his trot better. It's gonna make his walk better. He's gonna to respond to you better. I mean, everything is gonna improve because of the work you do on the ground. I understand that some of the horses on the DVD were rescues. Can you tell us a little more about that? Yeah, um, of the horses that are on the tape, um, all but one of them, cost less than $500. On three of them that were actual rescues, the donkey was free. He was a, a wild donkey that was left in my pasture at one time. Uh, the, the little miniature, he's an oversized miniature, the pony. So he was a little too big to be registered as a miniature horse, and he was a really high energy type of horse. So there was one that was just kind of sitting in a paddock doing nothing when we found him. And then the third one is the American Warm Blood Gelding. He's a great horse, and there was a guy who had abandoned this horse somewhere, and we had to pay a $500 rehoming fee, but we got him um, th through, the, through the rescue that way. So these were, these were all, you know, Janum, the big black stallion, he's a beautiful horse. Uh, he's he's, he's a, my favorite horse. You know, I love him to death. But even he wasn't one that was, like, easy to work with. These All of these horses had some sort of a behavioral issue at one time, uh, and it was through training and through the groundwork that we really resolved this, and now these guys are willing partners that are – happy to see us and happy to work. So it just shows you should never give up on these creatures, yeah. Any horse can do this, doesn't matter. You don't have to have a, a big fancy dressage horse or a big fancy Iberian horse. You know, we, we took common everyday horses and they all do very respectable piafs and, and people love uh, watching them work and I love showing them off. Now I understand that you have had lupus for couple of decades now and uh, how has that affected your ability to train and care for your horses? You know uh, I always like to say that I have lupus that lupus doesn't have me but 
th there are times when it gets in the way. I mean, you know, my, my uh, you can see I've got arthritic hands. Um, you know, my joints hurt. There's days, you know, when it gets cold, it hurts a little bit more. Uh, but I think that that's really been kind of a blessing when it came to the horses because I never was able to rely just on strength or on being able to work a horse every day or work a horse a lot in order to be able to, to train them. I was kind of forced to find a better way. Uh, and so this method, you know, really is, works for me. Uh, I don't get to ride. If it's not the lupus, and then it's the wife or it's work or it's the weather. It's always something that gets in the way, the pursuit of wealth, whatever. You're, you know, there's always something that gets in the way of our plans. And you don't, next thing you know, you don't have as much time to, to ride as you like. So this method has allowed me to really be able to interact with my horses a lot more. Um, it's just a few minutes, maybe when I'm feeding uh, or whenever I get around to, to actually having a little time to, to, to play with them. And it just picks up right where you let, left off. So it's really um, kind of forced me to, to do it my way. It's very inspiring and very encouraging for people who might have uh, disabilities or things that they think are going to get in the way of them taking care of a horse. Well, you know, I think people um, think that you have to be big and strong and all this stuff because horses are so big and they're so strong, right? What it really takes is being able to communicate with them. You know, and anybody can do it. I've seen the smallest little 80-year-old ladies that could out-train the biggest, strongest guys in the world, you know, but they, you could, you know, they might limp out to the arena, but their horses are the best, best trained horses you've ever seen. And it's because they understand how to communicate with their animals. Wow. So tell us how people can purchase this DVD set. They're available on the website, uh, www.piafreveal.com. When you get to the website, choose your language. The DVD is actually available in three different languages, English, German, or French. So you choose your language and then you can go into the website, learn more about it uh, and order it right there on the website. Thank you so much for joining us today, and thank you. Until next time, I'm Shelley for Campus News.